himself very well indeed on the ropes. He came off those ropes having done rather more good work than the man who was pressing him against them. And Gilpin had to give way in the end. And again, Hunnigan ducking this way and that. And suddenly letting go the punches that find Gilpin. Oh, what a good punch, and he's got Hunnigan. Second round, and not far to go in the second round, about 20 seconds. Oh, what a comeback by Gilpin. He was taking punches from Hunnigan on the ropes and then suddenly nailed his man. Oh, what a title fight this is turning out to be. Last seconds of the second round. And Hunnigan in trouble, and there's the bell. And he'll be glad to hear that bell. Gilpin didn't hear it, and Hunnigan's all over the place as he goes back to Terry Lawless and Frank Black in the corner. He's been hurt twice. Well, Hunnigan made a good recovery from that early shock, but Gilpin was still dangerous. In round five came a rare incident. <laughs> oh, they hit each other simultaneously. Very nearly a double knockout. What an extraordinary fight. In the next round, round six, the fight had turned full circle. Hunnigan was on top now, and it was Gilpin's turn to suffer. And he's looking desperately tired. Sixth. Pulled up again and again, but he won't go down. Never been stopped, Gilpin, but he's getting perilously close to it now. I think he's out on his feet. I think he's gone. Only blind courage holding him up. Sixth round, ten seconds to go. He's going to survive it. Just. There's the bell, and he just about makes it. And he totters back to his corner. Oh, what a round that was for Hannigan. And what a terrible round for Gilpin. After five more rounds of bitterly hard action came the twelfth and final round. But now, Hunnigan seemed to be tiring and Gilpin had found new life. The final effort then from these two good men who've put everything into this fight and the Albert Hall is giving them a marvellous reception as they go to work in the twelfth. Hunnigan with the beginning of a swelling on his right eye that's been smoothed down by the ice pack. Gilpin a long, long way behind but still posing a threat to the bouncing man in front of him. Hunnigan in the black trunks, Gilpin in white. You would have bet heavily early on, this would never go the full distance. Gilpin, again, fighting southpaw. Only once has he changed his style in this fight. And looking now for the right hand that floored Hunnigan early on, if he can find it again. And Hunnigan at all costs had to get off those ropes. And Gilpin's threatening to pull off a sensational win here if he can really nail him. Danger place there on the ropes, it's where he got caught early on. They're fighting well off the ropes and he forces Gilpin away. And Hunnigan's gonna win it. What an amazing finish. Gilpin, I think, is absolutely out on his feet. Sheer courage keeping him going. Quite remarkable fight. And what a fight they put on. The bell goes and nobody, including the referee, has heard it. 
Everybody signals to Mr. Bacon it's over, and Huntington is the points winner. And listen to the reception he and Gilpin get. Huntington marks up his 16th consecutive win as a pro and carries away the British welterweight title and takes it back into the Terry Lawless camp. That's the camp that had John H. Tracy holding the same title a few years ago.